Well, so two would be your starting line night for today. That decision won't be made till later in the week. You guys got to practice well. That's what we need to do. Well, just uh, now that it's game week, just, just, just talk about the prep you've seen and the work you've seen out of the guys, uh, I guess, in the last week, now that you started Louisville work. Well, we started transitioning, you know, a little Wednesday and definitely Thursday and Friday of last week uh, into Louisville. Uh, they had a good football team. Uh, repped again tonight, working on those guys. And, uh, and, you know, got a really a talented team from the standpoint of multiple quarterbacks. You know, Bobby does a great job with their offense. Quick is a really good receiver, a guy that can catch the ball vertically, does a nice job in the intermediate areas. Staples and Jaquay Williams are two very talented guys that they've added to their roster. They've got three tight ends that they really like, four tight ends actually they really like. Crumb Kid from Columbus is a very good player. Epps is a very good left tackle. Radcliffe is an outstanding back. Did a nice job for them last year. So we got our work cut out for us. But I like our approach. The guys have worked hard. And, you know, we just got a you know, first game, you know, new defense, communication. Those sort of things we've got to continue to work through to make sure our players are ready to go. As confident as you are in some of the freshmen you're going to be going with, I'm sure they're pretty confident in the freshmen they're turning to on the offensive line. And when you're preparing for that, how difficult is that? You don't have any, you don't have any game tape to go off of. Well, I guess with the unknowns a little bit as much as anything about you know who exactly they are, where you know there's a lot of unknowns in on all first games, but certainly uh, you know with their situation of receiver, where who where who is going to line up where. Uh, you know, as far as those things are concerned, and then the offensive line, exactly, you know, where they'll be with those guys. So, again, we just got to, you know, let our guys go play fast, go play physical. Uh, that's what we plan on doing, and, uh, and, and we'll, we'll prepare the right way, which I feel like we have to this point. We've got to continue to do so Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then we'll walk them off on Friday. Well, what's reasonable in your mind to expect from, from, from your guys their first game in, in, a, in a new system like this? And Which how different will it be from how it'll be at the end of the season? It's all about winning. <laughs> it's nothing about, nothing about there is no barometer we're looking for. Let's just do what we need to do to win the game. And I think any coach would say the same thing. Let's just do what we need to do to win the game. And that's what we need to do. Well, all four ends up like to play. What's that? Well, all four ends up like to play. Yeah, I would expect so. Well, can you remember a guy like Carl Lawson in the past who was out for the season and was so rare to go the next year, you know, lucky to have football, you know, just to play. Do you remember a guy like that in my head? Yeah, we had a bunch of Florida in my third year. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, you did. we had about 12. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, Carl's a, a, a special young man from the standpoint of his work ethic, his approach to the game, um, a guy that really, you know, enjoys the game of football. He's up in our offices all the time, wanting to watch extra film, wanting to get extra tips. Um, he's got a great motor. Uh, he studies the game. And, and, you know, the thing that I like about him as much as anything is he's not a, a guy that's just a really good pass rusher. He does a nice job in the run game as well. I mean, he does a lot of things extremely well. Uh, but his, his most gifted talent is his work ethic. He's got a very good work ethic. We'll talk about your defensive backs. So they continue to make some progress. Yeah, I've been very pleased with where those guys are. You know, you take you know, Jonathan Jones and Blake Collins are two very experienced guys. Josh Holsey as well. Three guys that have played on the perimeter and, and done a really nice job. Trey Matthews, although not last year at Auburn, but has played a lot before, has game experience and Rudy Ford. So you've got a good combination of older players that have kind of that have been through the preparation, the game week, and they've really been a calming factor for the young players that. Uh, those kids, those kids will play well. Louisville's still trying to apparently figure out their quarterback situation with the scout team. to use several different players. You just have one that does a little bit of Well, again, game. schematically, there's not a whole lot of difference in some things that they do in the throwing game especially, but certainly the quarterback's legs are always a concern. Uh, you got to get ready for the quarterback run game. I think they probably have a pretty good idea who their quarterback is. So we just, we'll prepare for what we need to be able to, to do to win the game. You have a good idea? I don't know. We'll, see. <laughs> well it's, been, it's been a lot of people say that Bobby's offense is, is unusual, I guess, different than, I guess, his passing scheme particularly is different than most. It's, what makes it more difficult to defend? Well, I think at the end of the day, they, they're going to attack you uh, with the same route concepts, but a lot of different ways. And I think that that's been my experience um, and, and as a defensive coordinator and head coach and, and, and preparing for offenses. It's not about the elaborate plays. It's about the execution of the plays that they have. I go back to Coach Spurrier when he was at Florida and even now at South Carolina. It's not really about 
the multitude of plays that they run, they run them really well. And I would say the same thing with Gus in our offense. We don't run a multiple bunch of plays, but we run them, we execute them extremely well. And so when they get a different look, when they get a different pressure, when they get a different coverage, they understand the answers. And I think that that's what you see with his offenses as well, is it's not the uh, elaborate number of plays, it's the execution of the plays that they have. you consider Byron a situational pass rusher for this first game? No, so Byron's going to play. It doesn't matter what the first down, second down, third down. He'll play in the game. He'll play a lot. He in there with the Rabbits? Well, I mean, again, depending on the grouping that we have in, we've got different multiple groupings that we have as far as those things are concerned based on our calls and things. So we're still working through that, but he certainly is going to be a part of you know, those groupings. Well, how's uh, Jeff Holland been doing? Jeff's been good. I mean, Jeff's got some really natural pass rush ability. we got to continue to work on some things in the early downs. Uh, but he's a guy that, you know, situationally can, can help us. Would he be lined up at the Buck or at the Sam? Or? He could line up either one. Well, just the, the backup safeties, you have a better feel for those guys now that you're a little bit closer to yeah, game Steven time. Steven Roberts has done some nice things. Nick Ruffin continues to come on and do nice things for us. So I've got some confidence in those guys. Blake is a guy that we can put at safety if we need to. Uh, so, you know, you feel good about five guys there going in and competing and playing well in the game. About Tim Elroy, how's he been doing? Tim is helping me come in January a lot. Yeah, Tim also, I should have mentioned with the safety position, but also a nickel. Uh, but, but again, I think he's continued to elevate his consistency of play, and that's always been the issue with him. You know, it's just it's not the fact that it has nothing to do with ability. It has to do with the consistency, down in, down out, of playing well, of focusing in, and really locking in on what you need to do. So uh, I've been very pleased he's made some strides in that area. Well, having having been around championship teams, uh, is, is there other than the obvious one, talent? Is there something? That, that you say that a championship team has to have? I think that develops through the season. I think you find that out when you, when you, when you have tough opening games and uh, it's a one-score game in the fourth quarter and you find out how your team responds. Your team gets down by 14 points in the first game and you find out how your team responds. And, or, or wherever it happens during the year, you build that throughout the year. That's not something I think you see in fall camp other than the camaraderie of your football team, the work ethic of your football team, and the approach of your football team. But, those moments, defining moments in the season, define that kind of season for you, and we'll see what happens. Coach, how have you seen Bobby Howard sort of develop over the front of the camp? How have I seen, have you seen Bobby Howard develop over the front? Yeah, I think the last week or so he's been you know, a much improved guy, but I think, you know, again, we can join in, continue to, to, to narrow down game plan, line, game plan wise what we do. I think that certainly has helped him, and it's helped all the freshmen because we, you know, we're, we're in the mode of installation in the early part of camp. There's a lot thrown at them, and then we start to narrow things down for game week because we've got to install for the season in camp. You know, I don't like him introducing a brand new thing, you know, first time out. So that's a, something I think is important for our guys to understand. Uh, besides the guys you mentioned, the two cornerbacks, what are the freshmen you think might play? Well, you know, right now, <clears throat> you know, up front, you know, Byron Cowart will play. Jeff Holland will, will contribute. In some some fashion, uh, you know, Daryl Williams has got an opportunity, especially on special teams. Uh, Montavis Atkinson will contribute definitely on special teams. Jeremiah Denson, uh, Tim Irvin, uh, Carlton Davis, Javaris Davis has an opportunity in some situations. Again, I don't know the multitude of snaps right now. Don't, don't hold me to that. But uh, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I believe that's it. I'm not. I mean, that's not including redshirt freshmen. That's true freshmen I'm talking about. But, you know, all of that can vary, obviously, depending on practice week. We still have a ways to go before Saturday. Well, Jeremiah Denson's a guy that maybe wasn't as high, widely known as some of the other guys. What, what Just because you about guys him? don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> what was it about him, and what have you seen out of him this camp that makes him that guy? Well, he really runs well. He's got great length. He's extremely bright, really, really smart. He can judge the ball in a deep part of the field. He's a great competitor. Uh, what did y'all not like about him? I just didn't, I didn't see him much. So, oh, okay. so, you know, South Florida. Yeah. We thought he was a good player. I mean, at the end of the day, we had a lot of these guys in camp, and we were able to see their skill set. And just because the guy's not rated high doesn't mean he's not a good player. Gerard Powers is pretty good. And Derek Marks is pretty good. Y'all didn't like them either. Well, you said that to determine who, who the starting linebacker going to be. I'm just kidding with Jason. You're not getting mad at uh, No, no, no. <laughs> well, when it comes to the naming the, the starting linebacker, you said it's going to have to just figure it out through practice this week. I mean, is it something where you're going to say, the guys had the two or three best practices, or whoever has the best practice on Thursday, those are the, the guys most excited. Throughout the entire game week, you know, 
it's, it's not just nothing that's given. These guys got to go out and earn it every single day. And uh, that's what those guys need to do.